Hi, I'm Kate and I'm joined today by my colleague Jane. We're going to show you a short video about learning to love your hosiery. So enjoy the video and please, please ask as many questions as you wish using the chat or the Q&A functions on the bottom of your screen. So the more questions we get during the session, the more we can get through at the end. So we look forward to chatting with you at the end. Thank you. Williams, I'm a wound specialist nurse from Leeds and I'm joined today by Jane Mays, one of my colleagues from SCT. We had the pleasure this week of having a legs matter natter with a Mrs Eileen Taylor who insisted on being called Nana. Um, so Nana, who is uh, currently living with her grandson, has kindly agreed to talk to us about compression hosiery. Um, she's quite frank about what she does and doesn't like about it. It's great to hear from her about the problems she's had and how she's tried to overcome the problems herself. And I think that Nana, Nana's comments will really resonate with a lot of people. And hopefully this short video will help people to overcome a few of the problems that they might have had in the past with compression hosiery so that they can learn to love their hosiery. So it's a short video and then myself and Jane will be available afterwards for questions. Thank you, Nana. I can't tell you how grateful I am that you're taking the time to do this because there's so many people that are given compression socks, stockings, whatever you want to call them. But when they get them, they just think, what the hell is this? It digs in, it's too short, it's too long. It's all and they just give up then. But as one of my lovely colleagues described once, it's like buying underwear. You don't all buy the same underwear from the same shop. So yeah. just like underwear, there's loads of different kinds of stockings from loads of different companies and they're all slightly different. So it's about finding the right one for you. Yeah. So can I ask you, can you tell me why you might not want to wear a compression sock? Um. If they're too tight or anything okay. like that, you know, if and if you can't get them on, then you can't get them off. Yeah. I've got a way of putting them on with the plastic bag of oh, yeah. clothes, and you pull them off and then you just pull the plastic bag out and you've got them on. I so, love that. That's brilliant. Did you think up your, that yourself, Nana? No, I was in hospital with, um, I had knee operation. And the walk, we had to wear the stockings in bed. And uh, when the nurses come to change them, that's what they do. Because they can't get them on at first. And then they have this, just a plastic bag, maybe a bag of, like a bag of crisp size. Put them on my feet. Put Because obviously there were toes without the tights. And they used to pull them over, pull them up, and just pull the bag out. And you got them on. That's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and actually, that is a challenge that faces so many people, Kate, isn't it? Just well, it's such a such a challenge. And we're lucky in Leeds because we've got uh, members of staff, and their job is to go around and teach people to be independent with all sorts of things. Yeah. And um, putting stockings or hosiery, putting them on and off, is one of them. So there's yeah. loads of gadgets and frames and all sorts of different aids that you can get on prescription that will help you get them on and off. I mean, you seem to have nailed it with it's a small plastic pack. <laughs> but do you want me to show you some of the fancier things? Yeah, yeah. I think one of the things, Kate, that I would just like to jump in on, I think this might be my nana being a little bit um, trying to go the high line. There is other reasons why you said that you wouldn't wear compression stockings, though. In and the colours sometimes was terrible. <laughs> the colours, I love it. I looked awful. So if you're wearing a nice dress, you wanted a nice flesh-coloured type thing, and often you could get black, but you want black wear black in summer. Yeah. So yeah. In winter, if you had trousers on. Um, but yeah, I think the trouble was the stocks. You know, I, I went years ago. Who, where is it? Doppler. Doppler. I used to have to go for an appointment every uh, three months. Then all of a sudden they stopped it. They used to give me a prescription. I used to take it to the pharmacy. They used to send it off. 
in the stocking drawer. One day I went and they said, oh, we're not doing it anymore. Do I've none of the puppets So have so you not worn the stockings since then? Pardon? You've not worn the stockings since? No, no. Just oh. another pair that I found from previous time, if my legs get achy. Because they've changed things now, because for the that Doppler test that you used to have regularly, nurses now and doctors are putting less importance on that. And so for the gentler stockings, you don't really need one of those at all. There's a kind of stocking that we call class one. It's all a bit shop talk, but for those gentler stockings, you don't even need a Doppler. Oh. You can just have them. And if you're comfortable in them, just keep wearing them. So um, that's a really positive change. The prescription just the same, take it to chemist, they order them for you. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll off with that. Yeah. Um, so is variety important to you for colours? Yeah, I think so. I think they have to look nice. You don't want to look doody doody in them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. You, you want them to match your outfit. You don't That's want them to be the wrong colour. You don't want some horrible loud looking stockings. <laughs> <laughs> no. And that, I think that that actually is probably one of the biggest challenges is as nurses, we need to communicate with yourself and the likes of yourself to, to you know, reassure you that there are other colours. Well, I've got some crazy colours to show you, Nana. Right. So, are these the kind of ones you've seen before? Yeah. Are these That's things it. that you kind of turn your nose up at? Mm, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> So these, they're fairly standard ones, but there's a whole range, there's a lighter beige colour, or there's some more dark brown ones, yeah. but then you can get quite slinky, lacy topped, oh. fairly thin, quite sheer ones that feel more like normal tights. Yeah. yeah. They just feel like thick tights. Yeah, that's so, be better. The, Not tights, you know, the... The stockings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you find the ones that came up to your knee? Yeah. I wasn't wearing a full length one, I was wearing ones that came up to your knee and the toes was out. Yeah. Would you prefer toes in? Because you can get toes in. I would, yeah. yeah. I don't get in the plastic bag out while that's the only truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually that links nicely on to Kate what you were saying about getting them on because yeah. even if there's even if they've got closed toes there's still ways of getting them on let me show you what I've got so there's anything from tiny little it's like parachute fabric oh. it's really slidey and you can wrap it around your leg and then you put your stocking on and you can just pull it out up by your knees. All right. So that's, that's just one of them. But wait till you see these. There's a little thing there that you can pop the stocking over and then just pop your leg into it. And then? And it slides up your leg. But they're great if you're quite bending and you can touch your feet quite easily. But for people who are, aren't quite so bendy, there's other ones that have got long, longer handles, oh. so big frames like this, mm -hmm. and you can get the stocking. There's a white one if you fancy a white one. Yeah. You can put that over there, and then this goes down onto the floor, and you can just slide your foot into it. I'm, I'm not I'm bent enough to show you. <laughs> There's all sorts. There's another one here. So I got all these off our team who go around teaching patients to do it themselves. Yeah. So they, yeah. they take all these gadgets in with them and they spend time with the patients just trying to figure out which one works best for them. Yeah, yeah. There's not just one applicator aid that works for everybody. Depends how big your feet are, how big your legs are, how bendy you are. Yeah. how big your hands are so they're all completely different but the main thing is that we don't want people to give up because it is so important to look after your legs mm -hmm. and it's so important to get the right hosiery for you 
so that you're comfy and that you love it. Yeah, yeah. I want you to love, love your hosiery. Do you find them comfortable, Nana, when you've got them on? So yeah. we've addressed how you get them on, because I still love your carrier bag, never mind any of that stuff. I think that's a great way. Um, so once you've got them on, do you find them comfy? Oh, yeah, 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 they are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they're helpful because your legs don't ache as much, you know, in the night time before you go to bed. Because, you know, you get aching legs. Very, they're mostly for workers' veins, aren't they? they? These stockings. They are. And it's great that you know, they know, you know, know that they help and you want to wear them. But it's up to us then to get it right, like show you the different things and show you the different fabrics. Yeah. So have you ever found that they dig in a bit anywhere? Yeah, a little bit. You know, around the back, back there and your in you, you knee at the back. Because okay. my man was only up to there. Sometimes he was to double over. Yeah. I mean. So is that where you'd prefer a longer one? Yeah, to come slightly over the knee if possible. Yeah, there is. I've got one here. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how long your legs are. Hey, that's got a nice top on it as well, like a, a something to hold it up. Yeah, you can use um, like little silicon dots that you can I'll hold them up. Help yeah. grip it on your thigh. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Didn't roll down. <laughs> yeah. You don't want them to, to roll down, do you? That, there's nothing worse than Nora Batty stockings. <laughs> that roll down. Because <laughs> I've worn some before, so I wear them. I prefer the ones that are like normal socks. They're kind of a cottony feel and they just look like normal socks because I live in trousers. But I have tried ones before and I've had to stop and take them off because they just didn't suit me. No. They dug in at the front of my ankle or they dug, they were digging under my knee. I had to stop the car once and take one off because it was that really digging in at the front of my ankle. But I didn't give up on socks or stockings altogether. I just it thought... Not having... the weather as well, doesn't it? If it's real hot, you know, yeah. some of them are horrible, aren't they? Oh, I know. I think we've got to be normal about it. And I think if it's 30 degrees outside, have a day off. It's yeah, fine. It's and if, off. Yeah, if you're going to a wedding in the middle of the summer, then, yeah, don't wear them for a day. Or yeah. wear them for a night out. But, you know, you need to get them on the next day. Yeah. And people know, people will understand how... Um, some people could not wear them for two weeks and then go back to them and that's fine for them. But some people know they have to wear them all the time. Um, yeah. So everybody, as you do learn to love your stockings, you know what you can get away with when it comes to not wearing them. Because right. we if want to see it all the time. Yeah. You need them on. Yeah. You? Yeah. So the idea is that you're the expert, not me. Oh, right. <laughs> you're the expert in your legs and your stockings and you know exactly what's going on and it'll prevent all these problems in the future. Yeah, like ulcers and things, is it? Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know your stuff. It is though, isn't it? It is about sort of, like you say, once you know that they help, you want to wear them. Um, yeah. It's just getting the right ones. And, you know, up until recently, it was that you could only have ones that look like medical socks. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to get some the for you. Some ones now, I'd say. More nice, nicer looking ones. Yeah. Yeah. Nicer colours. Mm. Nicer colours. Fancier silky fabrics, which are always a bonus. Oh, um, yeah. I get some myself. <laughs> And it's been able to get them on. Have you ever had any challenges washing them, Nana? No, no just yeah. wash them and put them on the line. Brilliant. That is really good because that can be a worry to some people. It's like, do I have to wash them in, in special ways? And we spend a lot of time saying, just wash them. <laughs> just and wash them. Yeah. And let them dry. And you need one pair, don't you, to sort of wash and one pair to... 
So you need more than one pair, don't you, really, to, to be able to, to, to use them properly. I've got a prescription at the chemist you give me, and it, it was giving me three pair, so they lasted me. The one in the chemist said, well, they haven't put pairs down, it's three stockings. I said, I haven't got three legs. <laughs> <laughs> and she actually took one of the stockings out and just gave me a pair. And I said, what good is that? Well, next time you go, tell them to put air down with air, not these stockings. <laughs> but those challenges are true. If you have a challenge getting them or you don't, the prescription's not right, it puts you off, doesn't it? Uh, of course, it does. I, yeah. I don't think I'm bothered anymore. Yeah, yeah, you, you want to make sure. So, um, Knowing, is there anything new that we've told you today that you didn't already know? No, I didn't know about all those different things that you can put on your legs, but I don't think I'd need them, to be quite honest. But no, yeah. I don't need them. My mum. I don't know, we'll, we'll make it useful to try out on that. See, see how they work out. We'll get you to test drive some. We'll get you to test drive some of these different fabrics and different sort of types. What's interesting, are your legs quite swollen, Nana, or are they all right in the, the run of things? It just seem to affect me more, you know, when I get in bed, start rubbing a bit, and I think it's through that. And sometimes during the night, they wake me up, and I just get some e forty five, rub them up and down, and then settle down. Definitely, because... Um, Kate, there's different types of fabric, isn't there, that's sort yeah. of, when you've got swelling, you don't want something that's going to be like elastic bandy that yeah. digs in. You want yeah. something that's flat so, fabric. Yeah. 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 You yeah. want something that's going to just lie flat to your leg. So there's not just one type of fabric. We need to make sure that we get people the right type right. of fabric. Uh, yeah. For their legs. You're that by wearing them, can't you? You know, yeah. wearing, wearing different ones for a while so they get the ones that you, you need. And you Definitely. I think the best thing is that because you know your legs are less achy when you do wear them, we've yeah. kind of, you've, you're half sold on them already, which is brilliant. But there'll be a lot of people that will have just been given that first pair and will be looking at them in the box going, really? So yeah, it's just they, really trying to try and wear them to see what they like, don't they? Yeah, exactly. And if they're not right, don't give up. Get some more. Plenty Get some of more. Try. Get yeah. a different one, a different type, a different colour, so that in the end, you do love them, isn't it? Yeah. It's about loving them in the end. I think you feel good in them and they feel good, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely, definitely. Yeah. Kate will probably close it with what you've just closed there, really, isn't it, Kate? Don't give up. Don't give up, yeah. 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 Is, there anything, is there anything you'd say to somebody else's nana if they were just handed a box of stockings and they said, what the hell is that? <laughs> so wear them and see how you're feeling them. And if they feel good, continue with it. Um, if they're not right, so the nurse that supplied you with them, maybe want measured right. You don't know, dear. So it's trial and error, isn't it? Really, when you first first start wearing them. It is. It is. You're yeah. exactly right. We need to give uh, you a job, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> I think your blue top. <laughs> and I actually think that there's nothing better than hearing that from somebody who knows. So yeah. when Kate and I got together for this sort of project mindset, it's like we could tell it till we're blue in the face, but for somebody like you to, to tell that to other people is yeah. gold, isn't it? Absolute gold. Yeah. yeah. I would just love to thank, thank Nana for the time that she's taken to have a legs matter natter with myself and Jane. Um, I think you'll agree she's fabulous and hopefully it's shown members of the public that the problems that they may or may not have had or any hesitation that they may or may not have had about wearing support socks or compression hosiery, 
that these aren't unusual problems, but the most important thing that they're, they're not insurmountable problems that can be solved. There are so many colours, fabrics, lengths, open toe, closed toe, so much choice that um, we really, really want to encourage people to try different types, like you would with clothes and underwear. Try different stockings till you find ones that suit you and that you love them. Oh. That was Nana, wasn't she? Fun? Hello, wasn't she great? I just love the way that you close that, Kate, and say that, you know, it's don't give up, isn't it? It's oh, absolutely. It's it, you can I see patients so often where they just they don't like the socks or the stockings they've been given. They dig in, they don't like them, they slide down, they have to pull them up. But these are all problems that can be resolved if you get the right pair. Absolutely. I think, you know, some of the questions, we'll look at some of them in a minute, in a minute, but, you know, just, just knowing that there's different colours and fabrics. I know Marion's asked there that, you know, where can we see all these different fabrics? But you, you, we, we have little swatches, don't we, as health Yeah, whichever clinician you go and see, um, they'll have access to swatch. So whole, all the companies will provide um, ranges of fabrics, so there'll be anything from the more slinky stockings through to the much more robust for more misshapen legs. So all the companies make the same range. They go from slinky, long ones, short ones. Um, I am conscious that I was talking to Nana about a whole range of colours and then I just showed her brown ones. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, um, there is a range of colours. There's blue ones, black ones, purple ones, pink ones. Um, there is a great range of colours. I just realised I just happened to show Nana brown ones. And some of them have different like seams, don't they? Different coloured seams to match, you know, contrast or match. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing the different range. Yeah, I think. Should we have a look at some of the questions? Absolutely. So we've we've looked at that one there about fabrics. I know uh, Melanie, she's asked us one directly about particular patient care, which, you know, is always very yeah. difficult on these se sessions to do. Uh, <laughs> But the patients who have got active ulcers, um, they need, you can issue them with hosiery depending on the kind of ulcer they've got and where it is. And, but I think for that particular group of patients that Melanie deals with, then there's different treatments might be more appropriate. So I think work with the clinicians who are involved with them, but I think trying to get them independent, if they're in hosiery, they can have high compression hosiery um, which would, they will certainly need, um, or they could have bandaging, or they could have compression wraps, or there's a whole range of hosiery that, but I think the key for that kind of patient group is to get them independent and motivated and um, to do it themselves. But for that um, specific, throughout the week on the, la on the Legs Matter Lounge, there's all different sessions. And a colleague of mine, Jamel, is doing a session on Friday about, um, patients and clients who have been homeless who are much those more difficult client groups so that might be more interesting for you it is isn't it it's about like you say getting the the right ones through your assessment but using the bigger team to help you isn't it yeah I know we said on the last session you're not on your own there you know uh, Melanie there's loads of people there to to help isn't there um but we've got we've got a good one here Kate uh, so we've got one that says um is there any way you can obtain information about the different types? I am a podiatrist, which is great to have um, as, as part of our conversation. Yeah. And we see many patients with lymphedema and swollen ankles. So again, information really is, is what, uh, what we're after, Kate, there. Yeah, I think for podiatrists, um, it's great that you're watching and it's great that you're interested in helping people with swollen ankles. Um, to get some more information, any of the hosiery companies, if you contact them, they'll send you out um, ordering information, measuring information, and those swatches so that you can see the selection of fabrics. So um, wherever you work in the country, um, each company will cover that area. So if you just speak to your local clinicians, either community nurses or tissue viability nurses, um, they'll be able to provide you information about contacting companies, or you could just look online. 
Absolutely. And oh, this is a nice one as well. Um, so uh, this gentleman is type 2 diabetic um, and he's got swollen legs um, after sitting down at his desk um, for hours. I can share that. We've spent too many t- hours in front of desks at the moment as well. And he's trying, uh, sorry, he's trying to get a move about, but would compression stocks help him? And how does he get uh, go about getting some? I, I think, think that's a, a lovely preventative one, Kate. Absolutely. And yeah. Compression socks will, yes, they will help. And I think your first step would be to go down to either your local pharmacy or um, get an appointment with your practice nurse and they can assess you, uh, particularly because you're diabetic, they can assess you and then help you get some hosiery that is comfortable and that you'd like. I absolutely love that question though, Kate, because we've had lots of conversations about that prevention. Um, We need to prevent uh, the problem, don't we? Yeah. That's the time to start thinking. You've got that slight swelling in your legs. There's other sessions later in the week about leg swelling, ankle swelling. Um, So all the sessions together will, um, they should all slot in together and mix. Definitely. I just think prevention is definitely the way forwards and it is finding the right pair, the right pair for for you as an individual. Um, So we've got one here from Alison. Can you use a combination of um, layers of hosiery? Um, It seems to make sense. um, This might make it easier to get on. So absolutely. Yes. A lot of people do this. So there's different types of stocking, different strengths. Um, Lots of patients struggle to get one tighter stocking on, whereas what we can do is give you two much gentler stockings, which are much easier to get on. But the the level of support you get is the same. So, for example, you could have two very gentle stockings that when you wear them, give you the same support as one strong stocking. So layering the stockings is something we do a lot just to try and get people more independent and more comfortable um question that we often get asked is can we take hosiery off at night or should we take hosiery off at night and the honest answer is some people do and some people don't so some people like to take it off at night but it's very very important that you put it straight back on first thing in the morning other patients prefer to leave it on all night and sleep in it because they find it difficult getting them on and off um, and once they're on they're comfortable and they'll leave them on for a couple of days um, so yeah, it's there's so many things we can try and layering stockings is a perfect example of something we can try to make it more comfortable and easier to live with. Definitely. And Lucy's asked a good question as well, which is really great because this is talking about it is flat knit more comfortable than standard ones and we touched on our presentation a little bit about flat knit circular knit but it's come so far hasn't it compression garments. Oh, it's come a long way. And for some patients, flat knit is absolutely more comfortable than standard ones. So if you've got any patients who are any relatives who's got slightly misshapen legs, if they've had particularly chronic swelling, they've got lymphedema, um, absolutely flat knit hosiery will be more comfortable than the standard ones. And Lucy's got, gone on to say there about, you know, people uh, getting stockings when, say, their limbs are larger and, and not just one size. And, and that's a great question as well, because that's back to getting it measured properly, isn't it? Correctly. Yeah, properly yeah. measured. Pharmacists can measure you or clinicians can measure you. Um, measuring patients, sometimes it, if you're a bit more hesitant, you might want to start with a larger size. Say, if I've got a patient who's really reluctant to wear hosiery, I really need them to love it. This is a lifelong thing to look after their legs. I need them to love the stockings. So I, if they measure, when I'm measuring them, I might get them a size slightly bigger and then just explain to them, look, this is slightly bigger. We need to make sure it's right for you. you just to get the sizing perfectly right. So it's really important that whoever is measuring you you have that conversation. People are not robots. You don't just go in and measure the leg and give them a stocking and off you go. This is trying to get people who, so they can be independent and comfortable and manage them perfectly. We did, we did say that. We did say it's about learning to love it. That's what we titled yes. the, the, the session, isn't it? And we need to love these this hosiery, don't we? It's going to change 
how we live our lives once we love it and it's getting it right isn't it we the do first and if time. you're not measured right if it doesn't first, get it right the first time yeah if you're not measured right if you're given a size that's too small it will put you off for life so it's just about getting stockings that, yeah. that you're able to manage in the colors a range of colors that you're happy with let's face it we all want to look nice but um yeah it's really really important to get it right but there's quite often we don't get it right first time so it does take trial and error definitely and I think we're coming to a close now Kate but there was one there about the um the sort of lacy tops and again that's like the fabric colors isn't it it's it's every company out there has them and, and we yeah. work together don't we to make sure that you have the samples to show but um it does make a big difference, doesn't it? To it people. does make a big difference. If you like them, you wear them. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, again, if you there is no particular manufacturer, there's all the companies will make the slinky lacy top stockings. So yeah, I think that brings us to a close, Kate. In I suppose the closing message is learn to love your hosiery um, and wear your hosiery, isn't it? Absolutely. Learn to love it, give it a chance. Um Sometimes we get it right first time, but quite often we don't. But there's lots of other things to try. But particularly all the other sessions in the lounge this week will just complement this. It'll again make people understand why they need to wear them in the first place. And other little hints and tips on um, living with hosiery. But thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>